Welcome to my stretching routine, which is suitable for martial artists and anyone that suffers with lower back pain and sciatic nerve pain. Begin sitting with your legs crossed, with your left leg outside of your right. If you find this difficult to sit like this, you can use a cushion or a block to sit on. And you will also need a strap, or in my case, I use my black belt. Place your hands on your knees and take a deep breath in, lengthening the spine up through the top of the head and sit as tall as you can. Now begin moving in a wide circle, moving from the hips and the lower spine. Feel the full range of movement in the hips and the lower back. Just gently moving in as wide as you can and change direction of the circle. Keep taking deep breaths as you move around the full range of the circle. Breathing into the hips and the lower back, filling up the lower back. Now place your right hand on the floor behind you, your left hand on the knee. Take a deep breath in and stretch up and then sink over that right knee pushing the left knee down to the ground. On the next in-breath, stretch up through the spine and sink over the right knee. Inhale and come back up to the center and we're going to stretch the right leg out to the side keeping the toes pulled back bring the left foot into the right thigh and dropping the right elbow to the ground and if you can place the right hand underneath the right calf breathing into the lower back and keeping the rib cage pulled in and turn the head to look up towards the ceiling lengthening the spine as you breathe out, place the left hand to the side of the head and then as you breathe in, push the elbow towards the ceiling and just stretching over to that right hand side, allowing a full deep stretch down the left hand side of the body. On the next intake of breath, come back to a straight position, let the hand come down, then bring the right leg back in so that it's on the outside of the left. Place the hands back on the knees and move back to the circles, moving from the hips a full wide range as before and breathing into the lower back as you move around, feeling the full motion, the full range of the hips. Change direction of the circle so that you go in the opposite direction, again with a full range of movement through the hips and the lower spine. Coming back up to center, put your left hand on the ground beside you and your right hand pushing the right knee down. Extend your body upwards, deep breath in and then sink over the left knee. Feel for any tension or tight spots and just let the tension melt away as you sink over that left leg. On the next intake of breath, come back up to the center and take your left leg and stretch it out to the side. Pull the toes back, bring the right foot in to the inner part of the left leg. See if you can drop your elbow down to the floor and again put your hand underneath the calf if you can. Right hand will push the right knee down. Bring the rib cage in and up as you take a deep breath in, turning the body upwards. As you breathe out, take the right hand to the side of the head. And when you breathe in, stretch that right side of the body towards the left leg. Pulling the elbow back and up and over to the left leg with each in breath. Feel that full stretch down the right hand side of the body.
Inhale and come out of the side bend. Bring the left leg back in so that it's outside and in front of the right leg. Now place your hands on the ground in front of your feet. With a deep breath in, feel the spine lifting up through the top of the head. And then as you breathe out, you're going to walk your hands forward and reach forward, stretching through the spine towards the front of the mat. Let the shoulders sink towards the floor, allowing the back to stretch right from the base of the spine all the way up through to your head, sinking forwards down towards the ground. Let your body sink deeper with every out breath, feeling the floor beneath you and feeling your body weight sink into the floor. Now make your way back up walking your hands back towards you, coming back to a seated position. Once more we're going to stretch the right leg out to the side, keep the toes pulled back, bring the left foot in towards the right leg, dropping your elbow down towards the ground and again if you can put the hand underneath the calf. As you breathe in Tuck the rib cage in and look up. And as you breathe out, take your arm up and this time reaching over towards the right foot, feeling a full stretch down the left hand side of the body. As you breathe in, pull your rib cage back and up, looking up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, stretch the arm over towards the right toes and feel the stretch all the way down the left side of the body. Inhale once more and bring your body back to center. Slowly bring the right leg back to the center so that it's outside and in front of the left leg. Take another deep breath in, feeling the stretch up through the top of the head and as you breathe out, walk the hands forward again, allowing the body weight to sink once more into the floor. Relax throughout your whole body and allow your weight to sink into the floor. Keep breathing into the lower part of the back and release the hips and the lower back as your weight sinks into the floor. Inhale, walk your hands back towards you to sit yourself up once more. Take your left leg and push it out to the side. Pull your right foot into the left leg and drop your left elbow down to the floor. And again, if you can, put your hand underneath the left calf, pulling the rib cage in, looking up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, reach that right arm over the head towards the left leg, feeling a deep stretch down the right hand side of the body. As you breathe in, pull the elbow back and over to that left leg. Keeping your breath nice and deep with each intake of breath, breathing into the lower back and the hips, allowing the hips and the lower back to release as you feel this wonderful stretch down the right hand side. Breathe in, come out of the stretch and slowly bring the left leg back in so that it's in front of the right once more, sitting up in a straight position. Now we're going to turn the right leg over, pulling the foot behind you. Now if you can, place your left foot slightly further forward, away from your right leg. The further forward will deepen the next stretch, but don't put it too far forward if you can't manage it. Walk your hands forward in front of your leg. Take a deep breath in, 
and as you breathe out sink your body weight over that left leg the further forward your left leg is the deeper the stretch and you can readjust yourself if it's uncomfortable going back to allowing your weight to sink over that left leg walk your hands to the right if you want to deepen the stretch and allow your weight to sink once more breathing deeply into the hip and lower back allowing those areas to melt and relax and sink into the floor as your weight drops down into the floor walk your hands back to center and bring them back and walk them back to an upright position now make sure that you've got a little space behind you so we're going to shuffle forward and push the tailbone forward and gently lean backwards just as far as you can onto the elbows if you can and all the way down as far as you can feeling that stretch through the right quadricep allowing all of the tension to disappear and melt through this really deep stretch in the right leg soften that right leg and feel it lengthening in this really deep stretch now make your way back up pushing against your elbows and your hands to sit yourself up bring the right leg back so that it's in front of the left and we'll repeat on the other side so take your left leg and turn it over so that your heel is behind you once more now adjust the right foot forward or back depending on where it's comfortable for you so that you get as deep a stretch as you'd like place your hands on the ground in front of your right leg and take a deep breath in lengthen up and as you breathe out walk your hands forward and sink your weight over that right leg it will be normal for one side to be more flexible than the other but this will allow you to equalize both sides and just let the tension melt away through the hips and the lower back and let your weight sink into the floor once more you can walk your hands this time to the left to deepen the stretch if you'd like allowing your weight to sink towards the left with each in breath fill up the lower back and the hips move your hands back to the center and with a breath in sit yourself up take both hands and place them behind you shuffle your tailbone forwards and slowly ease your weight backwards so that your elbows come down to the ground or you can stay on your hands if that's enough for you keeping the left knee on the floor and feel that stretch through the left quadricep feel it long and stretched keeping your head upright and forward so that your neck is long and don't tilt your head backwards feeling that full deep stretch across the front of the left leg now make your way back up by pushing into your elbows and your hands to sit yourself up and slowly come forward and bring the left leg back around to the front in front of the right leg placing your hands on the ground in front of you take a deep breath in and stretch yourself upwards and relax and this is the end of part one you can move straight into part two which will be in a card in the top right hand side of the screen but if this is your first time doing the stretching i recommend that you leave it here for today thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed that stretch